everybody how y'all doing swifty where are you ah, 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 ah i'm here i forgot my face tracking aha i have mine good morning 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 how's everyone doing did you have a good weekend? Yeah, tell us all about your weekend. It's Monday. It's Monday. My phone, ah. my phone died. Okay, well, ah. I'll, I'll let it charge, and then I'll be, I'll be here in soon. I'll, you'll be here soon. I'll be here soon. Right now, you're just a husk. It's just, just a husk. husk. Of a bear. Yeah. Wait. You're like the shedded outer layer. I still got eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> Don't hassle me. I'm Don't having. I'm for your eyebrows, like this. Hi, it's me, Doig. Talking through my eyebrows. I'll communicate through the power of dance. Okay. <laughs> is that a dance? No, Good. this is a dance. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, nice. Nice. That means hello. Interpretive dance. I like it. I just need some bongos. Do, do you want to see goodbye? Um, Sure. This is goodbye. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's I think that communicates the idea really well. Actually, I think if someone did that, I'd be like, "Oh, well, they're gone." Right? Yeah. Oh, 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 geez, there you are. It's a parkour goodbye. A parkour goodbye. It's that's just a, planking them that's falling parkour off. Parkour hello. You stood on. Yeah. This <laughs> it says a blank, empty stare of someone whose phone has died. Returns abruptly to the real world. I think it says the weekend was good. I played Magic the Gathering with friends. I lost, then I won, then I lost again. Ah, that is the magic of the gathering. I also like losing games with friends. It's fun. It's fun. Um, <laughs> whenever Dog and I play games together, um, we've we've made a nice friend recently who we sometimes play board games with. And whenever we play board games with them, and it's all three of us playing, Doug and I always get into like a ridiculous rivalry during the game and just destroy one another. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like we just, we get so busy fighting each other for dominance that we end up just both, oh, every single time, like our pieces just end up at the bottom of the pile. Like that diving one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like the diving one where you have to go get treasure, then come back with enough air. And we didn't make it back a single time, I don't think. No, we made it back I, once at the end. I, I, yeah, at the end, I, I, I pulled out of that nosedive. And I, I was the only one that made it back. Because <laughs> I, I was like, I'm going to go three squares and then immediately turn around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Whereas you were like super deep going, I can make it can with make, all of the treasure. <laughs> it's like I stepped out of the submarine, picked up a small coin and was like, New this will do. donation from a very special <sighs> space buyer at Fenrir. Doig is a big damn hero bear today. Oh, Fen. Doig's been helping Fen with some stuff uh, in the background. For like the fa last five minutes. Only five minutes. Yeah. Oh, I'm, still so scroll I'm still scrolling through the... Uh, the code on, on my other monitor uh, to get to give to to fan. Also, I was reading PC Encrypted's uh, messages. Control search. And I can't see one now, but I can recap for everyone that PC Encrypted has been doing more song lyrics, which is awesome. But also now has the problem that the song lyrics they previously did are outdated and they don't know if they can change the video. Oops. I don't think you can. I don't think you can edit a YouTube video afterwards. Unfortunately, I think you have to re-upload it, which kind of sucks. I wish they would let you. I guess you understand why they don't, but I wish you could like submit changes and then put in the description of the submission like why you need to do it, and then they would check them and let you do it. Oh, Space Pirate Fen says, for me it's been hours, so the relief is palpable. Oh, don't worry, you got this, dude. You got this. Is it all working okay now? What way? It's Paper Box House. 
Yo. Hi, Paper Box House. How's it going? How are you? Get raided. Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome. How was the stream? Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> Get followed. Thank you. I did. It happened. Oh shit. Oh, they're still following me. Oh jeez. You're drawing for a bit. What were you drawing? What, what, what were you? What were you drawing? What were you drawing? What were you drawing? <laughs> you never escape. Oh shit. Oh shit, man. You'll never find me. You'll never find me. Oh heck. Trying to learn how to do different styles of eyes. Oh, interesting. That sounds really cool. As usual, please feel free if you want to hoi any images into chat. You're super welcome to. We'd love to see. Yeah, it's amazing how many different ways you can draw them, right? So many different artists have different styles. There are so many that I'd love to try as well. I kind of like it when artists do that thing where they, they draw the eyelash as... Eyelash. <laughs> they draw the eyelash as part of the eye, where it's like incorporated into the outline of the shape of it. It's kind of rad. You always feel like you draw them the same way sometimes, yeah. I do too, for sure. Especially like when boarding, right? Because you get into a comfortable freehand and then you kind of encourage to stay in that comfortable freehand because you need to be able to deliver stuff within the deadlines. So it kind of discourages experimentation sometimes unless you're doing it on your own time. You're like, I just, I gotta use my shorthand and go. I gotta do it. Thank you very much, Cammy the Dark, for the follow. There's so many things like that, though. Like, I feel like you could do a whole self-improvement thing where every single day or week you looked at a different aspect of the face and just tried different ways to draw them. Because every single... Wow! Every single part of the face, I feel like, there's so many different ways that you can abstract that and draw it. And I feel like a lot of the time I'm not even making a conscious decision on how I draw it. I'm just kind of going with what I normally do. Oh! There we go. Yeah. The mods are on it. The mods are on it! I'd like to try self-unimprovement sometime. I need to zoom. So I deliberately unimprove in things so that I can find the joy in learning them again. Check this out. Pretty rad, huh? I like it. I can see some of the different influences. Like I can see some Disney-like eyes in there. As well as some more like Looney Tunes style eyes. I love this like fish guy down here. <laughs> I really like this scientist dude too. Ha, 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 ha. Helped. Is that the tick? Yeah, that looks like the tick. I love the tick. The big blue tick. <laughs> it's a little face that's behind the grid. It's like the grid became bars that trapped them. I wonder if they're verified on Twitter. Who? The tick. The tick. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty good, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Inky says, that looks so cool. You can see the creative chaos. I love that so much. Blue Hat says, this is quite the setup. I've never seen this level of interactive stream before. Oh, thanks. There's, there's going to be even more stuff happening soon. We're working on version two. Yeah. There used to be an awesome thing for raids where when you raided, you would be like a ship would come in and it would have a bunch of jelly cats on it based on the number of people who were raiding. And we'd all have to throw bombs at you and try to sink your ship and you'd be throwing bombs at us. But it broke. So it has been working for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I broke it. it. It broke. I broke it. But you know, you're still welcome to throw bombs at us if you like. <laughs> ah! Those were the days. Those were the days. Soon they'll be the days again. 
because uh, this weekend Dory's been working on some super exciting stuff. I'm going to keep working oh. on it on, on stream today. Are you? Yeah. Is there not a danger though that that might reveal a certain someone who we might not be ready to reveal yet? Oh, maybe. Okay, I won't work on it then. I mean, you can work on it. Maybe you can just disable that part of the script. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. So we don't see that. I made okay. a certain model for a certain someone. And I don't want you to see the certain model until they want to show it off. Yeah. I don't want to, like, spoil their debut. <laughs> you know? That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm super excited to tell you what Doi's been working on. It may have something to do with this little goal down here. Yeah. Let's scrungle together. Multiplayer. Yeah. It's it's starting to happen. Yeah. Doig's made some huge strides this weekend. Striding. We talk about it, I'm moon jumping. You're striding. Ahead. Tell us all about it. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I've been trying to get a way to... I <laughs> I'm trying to catch you. <laughs> my, so, my solution for uh, connecting people to get together, uh, I'm using Steam. And that threw up some uh, some things I had to overcome, you know. Mm. Um, but that lets me do nap punch through and relay stuff easier for like friends. Because it's like, hey, you got Steam? Cool. You can hit join game. You don't have to worry about getting any like IPs or setting up routers or anything. If you, go, if you can play multiplayer games with Steam, you're pretty much set up. So I got that. I got that working. Um, and then I was I was working on. Uh, he says casually, <laughs> like it hasn't been been stuck in development here's, hell. For here's the past a reenactment few of it. Okay, this okay. Is, this is me. This is this me. This is me in the living room. Yeah. Why won't it work? Why won't it work? Why won't why won't it work? Slam, 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 India. I'm just trying. Help me test something. Did I hear someone yell my name? Why I'm won't coming. it work? Oh, why I don't won't it work? Uh, oh, you got this dog. Don't worry. You can do uh, it. You can do it. I believe in you. Why? And then. <gasps> he did it. Then he did it. And it started working. Yeah. And we got some people in to scrungle with us and they tested it and, and it all, it worked. She's awesome. For now. It's super basic for now. So there's no like character animation or anything. Mm -mm. And there's not even like a proper controller set up. You can basically move around and uh, and jump, jump and that's it. And the controls feel super weird and floaty, but the important thing is that multiple people can go in and do that together and all see one another. And then I've got character select working. Mm -hmm. So now, now people can go come in look at a menu click on the character they want to be yep. and then spawn it in so one of those characters is super secret so you guys won't be able to see it yeah but we got an onster in we did so yeah that's been really exciting it's been really exciting seeing doig work on that this weekend and it's been really exciting seeing the amount of huge steps forward that he's made Bom, 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 because bom. we almost had it working before one time but the problem was it wasn't working with controllers at all it was only yeah. working with keyboard and mouse yeah and it took basically redoing the entire thing from scratch to get controllers to work and it was really finicky really finicky and difficult and well, finally i used i used one transport system and that worked locally with controllers then I used Steam, and that only worked with keyboard and mouse. Um, but you could do it over the internet. And then I had to go through a whole bunch to get it to work with a controller. And that's where we are now. That's, yeah, that's it. It's still yeah. weird. Steam is weird. If you're developing with Steam and you use the SDK, SDK at all, it has to run through the Steam client in order to do a lot of stuff. So for instance, I can't use the controller if I just boot it in Unity. It's fucking weird. Ben says the program alive, suffering for hours before a massive dopamine hit. Yeah, like literally hours, like weeks. Weeks 
of trying to figure out how to get this to work. And then Doug cracks it in a weekend. Mm, but I'm I got big boy developer pants on now because oh. I got I got <laughs> oh 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 because uh, I have uh, I'm a Steam developer now. <laughs> yeah, you got like a little version of your game. I can put it. I can release it through Steam with Steam keys. It's pretty good. I called it Doig Swifting. Yeah, you did. <laughs> so if you ever, if you are, if you're a friend with me on Steam and you ever see it says Doig is Doig Swifting, it's because I'm developing my app. I've been playing Doig Swifting for 260 hours. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. I'm pretty sure that's because one weekend you left it on. No, shush. <laughs> I hard at work. Running in the background. It's hard at work. Thank you guys so much for the subs. It's like ten full days. No. Yes. Yes, ten full days of. <laughs> I'm grassing you up. I'm grass me up. Yeah. Don't punk my leg. I'll I'll punk in your leg, dude. Well, don't pocket my hopes. <laughs> don't huff your pockets. Or don't huff my wants. pockets, dude. I like yeah, pocket so my hopes. Don't pocket my hopes. All right, I'll only punk your leg. But yeah, that's so. It's been super cool see that and there's still a long way to go with it but it's a big step it's a big step because it's what everything's going to be built on so i can only hope that getting the animations in and the rigs in and getting the controller movement working properly is all going to be very smooth and e easy <laughs> that's my hope nah. for you doig is that it's it's free and easy it's easy breezy beautiful cover bar the phone is uh being weird. Oh no, what's the phone doing? Or not doing? It's not charging. It's not charging. Is it plugged in? Yeah. That is weird. Just Maybe the cable's gone kaplooey. Maybe. Persaloodles, thank you so much for the prime subscription. Thank you. Thank you. Imagine soon we'll be able to have people in here. We'll be able to have an, a Melvin in here. Oh. Well, that'd be amazing. That'd be Melvin will good. be among other people of their size. <laughs> For once, they won't feel like a little guy because they'll be surrounded by little guys. And then we'll have Fen on and Fen will just be a real ass tall human. I think Fen is working on a chibi version. <gasps> hey, Fen, if but you it would be funny. hang out on the airship, would you be just a tall human or would you be like your chibi version it would be entirely your choice what kind of phone is an iphone an iphone we literally got it for the cameras because <laughs> we were like we've got cats we've got to take really good really really good cat pics oh and it'll also work for face tracking when it turns on uh yeah sh share it show yeah, it then show us Sharing is caring and caring is love and love is stupid and die. And die is delicious. <laughs> Scurzy, thank you for the follow. Lucky for us, we eat all of our lemons, so we're not gonna gonna ever get Scurzy. I eat so much lemon. I love citrus fruits. Put yeah, citrus in everything. I drink orange tango. I eat lemon cheesecake. Lemon's I drink orange juice. I eat so much sugar. Um, you're never gonna get scurvy, Mike. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I might get diabetes though. You might get diabetes. <laughs> you'll... Since you like to combine your citrus with sugar, maybe. Hold on, hold on. I know this looks looks like I'm not doing a very good job but give me a sec nice oh looking good oh star belt's I, cool i may have got this a little a little stuck where i can't get it hold on <laughs> okay all right i may have <laughs> i may be finding it difficult to uh to pick this up again hold on dog free oh oh <gasps> you're so good at it i'm so good at it i guess <laughs> do we not have the button anymore to put it full screen I wonder why I didn't just do that. There it is. Hey. Yeah. yeah it looks great. Look at cute little guy. A cute little guy. New text. <laughs> Who says, dis? Yo, that's GameCube as hell. It's pretty good. 
Ta da! Cute! I like how you went like low poly with it as well. Where'd the music go? It's just real low. That's rad. This music feels very Ghibli like. Or should I say, Joe Hisashi like? Isaishi. Yeah. Well, do you want to show people what you've been up to? I'm excited to show people what you've been up to. Well, uh, is it possible for you to to nix a certain character? Kind why, of. Why do we say nix? Is it to do with um, the president? <laughs> is it to do with Stevie Nix? Why is it that nix means to like? Take something out of the pool. I don't, I don't know, dude. You thought it was Latin. It might be Latin. Maybe it's like night. A long goodbye. It might be Latin. Who knows? You thought it was in ref reference to writing X. Why Nick, though? Why not just like X? X. X the spot. X marks the spot. Just floating bears. You know, regular Monday stuff. Oh, comes from nicked, apparently. Is that German? Yeah. I'm gonna get this. Yes. Cool. Got it. Oh, German for nothing. Oh, that's interesting. I always thought that it was N-I-X, but maybe we were just too dumb to pronounce it properly. So we were like, that, that'll that do. That's close enough. Okay, I think I've mixed it. Blue Hat Play says Nick means veto or no. That's great, you learn something every day. I'm happy that that's a word that doesn't have a terrible meaning that it derives from. <laughs> yeah, it means uh, Night of the Living Baby. <laughs> night of the Living Baby. I learned something cool about babies. Oh yeah? Well, sort of, indirectly about babies, yeah. What they, what they got going on? So apparently, you'll hate this, you'll hate this, but it's really fascinating. It's like, nature is really cool. Oh no. You'll hate it though. You'll absolutely detest this fact. Oh no, why are you gonna tell me? Don't tell me. No, because it's good for people to know. Okay, go on. So apparently, um, breast milk changes its composition based on the needs of the baby, and it and the mother receives like signals via the baby's saliva. So if the baby's like starting to become ill, the mother can like adapt, like like it naturally adapts to what the baby needs. So like for instance, a premature baby, um, breast milk develops like more stuff that they would need to develop and grow faster. And an ill one has like a higher concentration of like immune stuff to help them protect them while they're ill. You're right, I did hate that. <laughs> That is super fascinating and amazing though. I wonder how that works. Like, how does the woman's body detect what the saliva is? I don't know. I guess how you got the like- saliva convey the message? Nipple receptors and stuff. Nipple receptors? <laughs> don't, I'm just the messenger. I think that's, that's really great... cool though. <laughs> I love nipple receptors. That's great. <laughs> you know, I think that's amazing. Mm. Oh, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. Your favorite fact, baby fact, is that pregnant people have three sets of teeth. What? <laughs> yeah, I love it. When they develop those extra sets. Isn't there an FOTC lyric about nipple antennae? I don't know. What's FOTC? What's Bath's titty juice <laughs> video? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Oh, Flight of the Concords, maybe. Nipple 
Nipple receptors are so popular, see pay per view. Nipple receptors can get 5G. <laughs> Pretty good. I thought it'd be five. Uh, Why do men have nipples so they can get 5G too? <laughs> I see. I'm trying to equate 5G to like a, a bra size and I'm failing miserably. Rio says, oh, she made a Phoenix Wright video. Oh, interesting. Is that because Barry was playing it? You'd look really weird if if your bra size was 5G. <laughs> Wait, what? Doesn't it? Isn't the largest it goes up to like E or something? I don't I don't know. I don't know anymore. Because D's meant to be D's considered large, right? So yeah, like dub, double D and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you're up to G, if that even exists, it goes but higher the, than that. The number is your um chest, like measurement, isn't it? It goes higher than D now. <laughs> Whoa! How high does it go? <laughs> How far through the alphabet are we getting? Yeah, so the numbers are around the ribs. So if you were 5G, you're going to look real oh, weird. That's <laughs> true. Five, five or on a bra would be terrifying. Just a stick and some balloons. Five, five would maybe fit on one to, onto one of your fingers. No. Well, I, like, isn't the normal thing like 30 is quite small? Yeah. T 28, 30. Yeah. So it's like, what would five be? <laughs> real, real small. It doesn't go to Z. I don't believe it goes to Z. One Piece girls are 5G. <laughs> 5Z, 5G would be some stick people. Oh, Napping Tech Cross says I knew someone with a H. That's far through the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So G does exist. Yeah, because the letters determine like it's the difference between the... Cup sizes. Yeah, but they're determined by... I think it's the difference between the, um, the, the number measurement and the actual... Because you, cause you get measured for the... the Basically, you're like, like how chest knows ribs. More about bra things than I do. <laughs> and then you get uh, measured around like the 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 peak, the peak size size of where your breast is, and the difference the between nip. one and the other is how you determine the letter for the cup size. I said that's so interesting. How do you not know this? <laughs> how do I know this? <laughs> I don't know. It's great. You're very uh, you're very knowledgeable. I cannot remember where I learned this. I just do know. Maybe, maybe from girlfriend's past. I don't think so. Maybe. Anyway. Anywho. The, the largest, largest natural, natural size, size is 52 L. L. H I J K L. <coughs> that's so much, that's so many more than H. That's wild. The most commonly available bras are for people who don't even need to wear bras. Oh, you mean like the 34 Bs, mm. et cetera's. Yeah. I don't know if this is an overshare, but yeah, basically that's what happened to me. I stopped because I was like, I don't need these. I don't, I don't have enough to need these and it's more comfortable for me not to have them. So. <laughs> Young dog so it is a riddle to be solved. I need to know what the numbers and the letters mean at some point in my I life. I need to understand. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to not not need. I'm very comfortable just wearing t-shirts and that's that's good for me. Uh the frog god near god near one says I'm getting two birds what should I name them? You name them Ooh. one and stone. <laughs> No, <laughs> that's really good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds, one stone. <laughs> I don't know. What, you, what, 
what to call them. I don't want to choose that. That's, 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 you got you got this. What do we call this one? You got one. this. <laughs> what do we call the other one? Stone. Stone. You got this. I, that's such a personal thing. I couldn't possibly choose your birds' names. We called ours stamps. <laughs> and stomps. Maybe give them a distinguished name. Like... Boulder and Pebble. <laughs> I was going to say Pebble. Maybe it's because you were saying Stone earlier. Yeah, well, that's why I'm saying Boulder and Pebble. Maybe like... Sir... Er... Sir... Cirque and DeSole. Sir Pebbleton. Cirque and DeSole. We called our Artemis because he was foul, says Napping Terracotta. That's very good. <laughs> That's very good. Is Artemis a chicken? Or just, just a type of bird? A different type of bird. Good night, Ben. Night, night, Ben. Have, have a good nap. Right. What are you doing today? You're thinking something with a vibe of nuclear weapons, Steve from Minecraft, and car wheels. Hmm. You could call it rad. As in, you know, the just, number of uh, radioactive call, counts that they have in Fallout. Just call it rad and secret. <laughs> no! Whatever! But if that's only the name for one bird. You call one pip and leave one rad. Like Pip Boy from Fallout. Although, I'm only saying that because nuclear reminds me of Fallout. You haven't said Fallout in any of the suggestions that you were talking about. Call them. Giant Fork. All hail the Giant Fork. Peanut and Butter. I wonder how many pets out there are named Peanut or Butter. There must be so many of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't, my controller won't come out of the table. Pip is cute, right? Peanut butter. And jelly. <laughs> Pip the boy and what's jelly. Your, what's your favorite cloud name? Uh, <laughs> I like Cumulonimbus. I was about to say one which isn't a cloud <laughs> name. <laughs> what? I was about to say something extremely not safe for work. That sounds similar to the cloud name. But isn't the cloud name? My brain was like, that sounds like a cloud. Say that. <laughs> but I caught myself before it happened. Wait, are you talking about <laughs> mouth sex? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> My brain was like, here, Swift, this is what you're looking for. I found a cloud name for you. <laughs> But luckily, I, was, I know at this point not to trust my first response to things, so I didn't double check in my head before I said it. And I was like, okay, no, that's not a cloud name. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I like squalls. Is that a cloud name? No, it's more like a, a wind. What about cirrus? Cirrus is pretty good. You like cirrus clouds? Cirrus is pretty good. Do you know what cirrus clouds are? Um... They're, uh, they're the super, flavored, super no, they're the super, the they're the super high up ones, I think. Oh, that look like little stripes. What are these? They're they're probably more like cumulonimbus. I got a weather book. <laughs> you got a weather book and I a bra got, book. I got. <laughs> <laughs> you have such knowledge. I'm trying to remember what storm clouds are called. What storm clouds are called? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I used to know cloud names and I guess I've just gone. Now it's just replaced with rude words. <laughs> I don't have any cloud names left. <laughs> Titty clouds. <laughs> How That's dare very you? Good. It wasn't me with Rio in chat. Song is so low. Barely hear it. I'm glad you turned it up for us in the room so I can hear it better. Our cumulonimbus storm clouds. Oh well then that's why I, that's why I remember that one. There you go. Sorry, Rio. You threw yourself under the bus. 
He said the thing. <laughs> and it will receive a cloud. Frog says they're very small pig birds, but it'd be funny if they were called something scary and intense. The Reckoning! Call them Peak and Abu. That's not very scary. I guess maybe it's for kids. <laughs> if you're a very young child, there's nothing scarier than the peekaboo. <laughs> yeah. Do I you to show them what you've been working on? Oh, well. I. I'm should excited. we? Oh, should I thought you were going to. We don't have to. I was going to work on it, but I don't know if I was going to show them. Oh, you were it, just going to like running do or code. anything. Yeah, I was going to. I was going to tell you, you stuff. You were going to show them. Yeah. Come on. Come well, on. Well, do you, do you? <laughs> Come on. Do you want to run your version of it as well? I can. Okay. You guys want to see? You guys want to see? I mean, it's not going to look think any different from this. <laughs> uh, it will look a little bit different from this. We won't be moving or expressing at all. <laughs> we'll just be two doigs. Of course I want to see what this goal is that's been down here the whole time. That you've been like working away on in the background. Alright, it might incentivize people, right? Alright, okay. I just think it's nice to, like, we had this down here for so long and now people get to see some progress on it. Okay. I'm up for it. Okay. So this is super early, early sneak peek. Are we going to go through and, and share screens? Yeah. I guess so everyone's so. got two dogs inside them. Which one survives? The one with multiplayer. <coughs> angry dog and angry dog. There are two emotions. Anger and anger. People are going to see my Steam list. Is that bad? You could not show that part if you don't want. Oh, it's too late now. It's not really. I haven't it's pressed really any not buttons. It's too late. You haven't shared anything on screen. You could very easily NDA it. Oh, that works. My, my stream deck has been, been weird, but that button worked. My idol up. Okay. Let me stretch a little bit. This is really important to getting multiplayer working so I get to stretch. Okay. Okay. Hey, Cryptic Red Deer Ghost. I hope you're having fun too. Good morning. Check this out. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, so you do want people to see your Steam list. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. Look at it. Oh. So cool. Dog swifting. Coming to a steam near you. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. You're sharing your screen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we should share it together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, we could be faking it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. You're right. So if I do this. Defended <laughs> by Barry. It's Barry's doig swifting. And then the, the this is if this if this doesn't work, I'll be real embarrassed. Yeah. Steam. <laughs> Alright, you got something running. Oh. You're not meant to see this yet, but that's okay. Why are they not meant to see that yet? Oh they can. They can. I did I, for some reason I wanted the first thing they saw to be booted up from your screen because you're the person who made it all happen oh okay well fine. let me do let me do this first then all right so if i hit play it's run on it's running on the other screen new text all right okay so we got this cool and then if I hit uh, host, wait, no, this will, this will have the not hidden things. Good thing I didn't hit host. Oh. I'm going to have to build it again. Oh shit. Okay. NDA everything. 
I'll just I'll just chill for two minutes while you do that. Motherfucker! Ah, okay, fine. Okay. Give me a sec. No problemo. Realizing that there isn't a fresh build, and therefore you would see, you would see everything. You see everything. Okay, let me just open this up again. And, okay, a couple f five minutes. Okay, pop it onto my screen. What are you sharing? I got some art up. You got some art up. Yeah, it's just maybe better than having an NDA screen for five minutes. Even though I'm drinking tea right now. <laughs> nice. Yeah. New Mart says I saw dog steam list. List approved. <laughs> yeah, look at his uh, art. Still trying to figure out how to do shadows. It's shadows hard. Turns out more to it than than I thought. I forgot the most basic thing about shadows is that they tend to need to be darker than the base color. Because <laughs> if you don't do that, they look like highlights. <laughs> I, I mean, it I forgot depends. the basics. I got so caught up in trying to make things green that I forgot that the green had to be darker to be read as a shadow. Are, are you... F <laughs> no, I'm not joking. That's literally what happened to me last last time I was working on this. But now I know. It's so. like, it's like you ha you're on a bus and you can only have so many passengers on the bus, <laughs> and shadow value didn't make it on the mm -hmm. bus. It sure didn't. <laughs> Rio says, "Love the light brown feathers." Thank you. I was thinking about that a little bit, and I was thinking about if I change the feathers to be more what my actual feather color is. How how would that affect the shadows? You probably get like dark. Uh, blue, green, more saturated thing going on, right? Oost. Okay, cool. Oost. That's all working. Okay. Uh, Should I, do I need to reboot? I've not done the other steps yet. Oh, okay. There's a couple of steps when you're, um, I learned about when you are uh, uploading things to steam i got a cool thing called the steam pipe build uploader um, uh, what are you guys up to today while we chill and wait for doig to do the roar i'm doing the roar do the roar doing the roar do the roar okay so got my little gy thing doing a thing ah. <sighs> sleepy Okay, that uploaded nine chunks. <laughs> wow, that sounds grody. Yep. Eric says I started learning good dough for reasons. <laughs> I'm stuffing nine chunks up my steam pipe, dude. Oh my gosh, Eric, you with Godot. So powerful. I can't wait to see what you use it for. I really like Godot. Uh, how are you finding it so far? I like Godot because it felt easy enough for me to start getting a handle on it. Which is really cool. I, um, uh, my programmer friend started using Godot recently. Fen says, I'm trying out the code Doig showed me. I got a second player visiting this week for collabs. That's going to be so cool. It's going to be Doig Swifting for real, for real. <laughs> I feel like Dizzy at Beans are saying, Doig, oh my God, to my, I'm stuffing nine chunks up my steam pipe. <laughs> Like stop! I didn't hear that. <laughs> Did you not? <know? laughs> no. <laughs> Nine new chunks. <laughs> stop the stinging chunks up there! Stop it! The steam pipe needs needs room. I'm not lying either. I don't know if I should share the back end of. <laughs> don't show us Steam's back end. We don't want to see the pipe. <laughs> I'm using real words that Steve Valve uses. <laughs> You're putting through there. 
Aw, Fenton's gonna edit my credits to thank Doig for donating code. Oh, that's so nice. That's real sweet, Fen. You keep saying Ben. I said Fen. Okay, I keep hearing Ben. Wow, well, maybe I'll say Fen. I'll say Fenrir. 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 Did you know that that's a Norse wolf? I didn't know that. Fated to fight a Odin and the Ragnarok. I didn't know that, that about it. It's I knew a, it was wolf. But. The son of Loki. I feel like he says Doggy's is obsessed with Ben. <laughs> Do you remember that one time you just sighed and said, Oh, Ben, in the middle of something which was not related to Ben at all? <laughs> no, I do not remember that. How dare you bring that somewhere. up again? <laughs> Martina says, I remember that toy <laughs> clip. You were just, we were just chilling and you were like, ah, oh, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good friend. We went for a meal together. Don't read it into it. Can't believe you went on a date. I kind of, kind of, I guess. <laughs> the format and the structure. Friend date. A mandated friend date. Oh, Fen says, I'm sorry, Fen Rear says, I'm working on native hand tracking with leap motion, but also going to try and track my hand with pen tablet position. So it looks like I'm properly drawing. That's cool. That would be really cool. Let's share your code. <laughs> that would be awesome. I think the best way for us to do it, though, could maybe be uh, based on the position of the mouse or pen. <laughs> yes, that's the code. Because we don't have a leap. Yes, that's the code I was gonna, I was gonna ask oh, for. Oh, I thought you were asking for the leap motion stuff. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Have you? Have you? Have? Do you want me to? Yeah. To load up again. Yeah. My doig. Wait, you're sharing your screen. Oops. That's. You I'll fix do that. it, doig. Thank yeah. you. In the middle of my steam, my doig. In the middle of my steam. <laughs> my doig. In the middle of my steam. Alright, I'm pressing play. Okay, cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it too. To warn you. Be warned! Okay, so... I guess that's not really gonna work. Okay, okay. 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 Uh. Oh. Can I resize this? I can't really resize this. <laughs> this is gonna have to be it, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Okay. So I got. Let you got me... a host. Yeah. I I'm gonna hit host. I'm just gonna double sanity check host okay we're good would so you I recommend this game to other players <laughs> would you recommend this game okay oh so look check this out i hit host and now oh. i'm player zero and i'm picking a character are you gonna invite me am i allowed in this <laughs> yeah i'm gonna invite i'm gonna invite swifty to the game invite to game invite me okay i have an invite I need to get it. Hold on. <laughs> Shit. You're not sharing your screen at the moment, so don't worry about it. Am I not? No. I'm about to share your screen. Da -da 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 -da. Here I am. Yeah, look, old Swifty has joined. And then I'll, can I share your screen now? Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. There you go. Here I am. Yeah. So I'm going to choose Onster so we can see a different model that the character select works. Okay, cool. So if you hit Onster, then it look, it picked Onster on both of them and it says Onster. Yeah. And then there's a little Onster model behind your UI. So I'll pick Dorg. Onster Monster. You love how crunchy these images are. I, when I first saw them, I did yell. Listen, so squashed. There was supposed to be, <laughs> there was supposed to be like tall in the yeah. UI, but visuals not final. <laughs> These are just placeholders. Okay, and then if you if you, 
I've hit, locked in. If you've locked in, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's, it says, usually it would say picking, but since India's locked in, then, <laughs> then her character is locked in, and it means I can't select Ansta anymore because Ansta's been picked. The dog isn't being picked, and then if I hit lock in, boom, it does a little thinking, and then oh. oh, oh shit! Oh look! Hold on, let me duck down because uh, <laughs> I'm I'm in the way. You're in the way. Yeah, one sec. I'm gonna get out of the way. I'm gonna go. <laughs> you are here. controlling me, but that's fine. I'm controlling you. Yeah. How can I be controlling you? Because your controller is plugged into my controller over here. So oh, I'm, I'm, see. I'm controlling. <laughs> Let me turn off our overlay and then. Okay, cool. A monster in. Yeah. And I'm, I'm Joy Baron. Yeah. Woo. It's networking. You can see the latency. <laughs> Yeah, it's proper networking. To be fair, I actually don't think there's that much latency between us. I think it's because you're streaming as well that yours is coming through faster. Because your Onster is moving before my Onster. Oh, really? On your screen. Like, if I go right now... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yours is updating first. So it's got to be that your stream is coming through. Oh, that's... Yeah, so you the right-hand side, you're seeing, like, screen latency, whereas... This is more one to one. That's kind of funny. Yeah, the only thing I can't do at the minute is jump. Because we ran into a bug yesterday where for some reason only the host can jump. New donation from a very special ladies everywhere. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, look, soon. 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 And I promise this works over the internet as well. Yes, that's how we're currently doing it. We promise. It's all through Steam. It's not. It's no longer through me having my microphone and controller plugged into Doug's computer. Do you want to know something real funny? Yeah. I can't. Oh, I can jump with space. You can jump. But I can't jump with the controller. Oh, that's weird. Let me try. No, I can't. Still can't jump with space. <laughs> jump is being weird. Yeah. That's a. That's a bug we found yesterday. Everyone could jump, and then when Doug got the character select working, suddenly only the host could jump. So it's, we don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Yee. New donation from a very oh. special Whoa. Data Fox. Whoa. Hey, thank, thank you. you so much, Data <laughs> Fox. But yeah, isn't this awesome? I'm doing it, so guys. Exciting. I'm doing it. He's doing it. Come real close. He's doing it. I'm also coming real close. Soon. Soon this will be. We'll be able to do this. Do this thing. Imagine. Just imagine. All right. We'd have a bunch of friends in here running around and doing stuff. Yeah, it's a mini Onsta. <laughs> it is. She's so cute. That's a model by Eric. Outlaw Eric. <laughs> I'd show you a new story. donation from a very special Pilky. Big brain. Oh, Pilky. Thanks, Pilky. Thank you. I'd show you a Swift, but Doig hasn't put Swift in yet. <laughs> so. <laughs> There's just, there's Doig and then Swift is just another Doig. So to show you that we had another character in, I wanted to choose something different. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for the donations. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Doig worked super hard on this over the, over the weekend. Wait, it just went, it just jumped to like, from like 10 to 13%. Yeah. Dude, how much, how much you guys throwing? What the f- It's a very big goal. It's a big goal because it's meant to cover Doig working on this for like three months straight. <clears throat> Do you have to set up networking for individual animations? Says Space Pirate Fenrir. Uh, I think um, with Netcode for Game Objects is, is the thing I'm using. Um, they have a means of transferring. I think they have like a network animator, um, which I think communicates what's happening on one animator across the network as far as i can tell i've not done it yet um so it's gonna i think it's gonna be a bit to try and figure out how to get uh procedural stuff um like 
head turning across, but I'll figure it out. Yeah? Yeah. I have faith in you. I believe. <laughs> Thanks, Onsta. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Shall we quit? Hello! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, beans. <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah yeah I, i'm happy we got to show people what you've been up to it looks simple but trust me when i say that getting this working has been kicking our asses for the best part of like two months at this point yeah i don't know well oh, kicking beans. dog's ass that's a sega moment yeah <laughs> pink puppy live hello how's it going Alrighty. Then we go here and we do this and you can put up whatever you want to put up on your screen now. Okay. Okay, I'm back to Photoshop. New donation from a very Ooh, special Metal Head Scott 1996. Thank you. Metal Head thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. 14%. Thank you so much for the donations. We really appreciate them. We're, we're working towards a world where one day Doug might be able to support himself uh, by doing this every day. Do you, do you want to uh, un-NDA me, Doig? Okay, and you got your- And pop the stream back on. Or rather pop the <laughs> overlay back on. Okay. Doom. Doom, doom. There you Thank go. Thank you. Oh, oh, get your Twitter feed off my screen. Wait. Why is that doing? I don't know. <laughs> the screen I normally look at the stream on is just covered in Doig's Twitter feed right now. Get out of here. Get out of here, there Twitter feed. Oh, that's a Samba witch. Yeah. Mm. Then percents do add up. Yee! Bruce Mott says, Impact looks so underwhelming, can confirm. Moving around looks like so little outcome for months of work. It's true, yeah. We got stuck for so long. Um, it was frustrating because we got everything pretty much working to the point it is now but just without control support. And then to add the control support, we had to rebuild from the ground up basically. Yeah. I just I'm couldn't figure out why Steam wasn't letting controllers work for such a long time. There was a couple of things happening there as well though with the character select. Um, I've learned a bit about sending server RPCs and client RPCs. I learned a little bit about scriptable objects so that I can store character choices um between scenes i learned a little bit about <laughs> scene management yeah um, because it goes between a uh doesn't look like it but it does go between a character selection screen and a um gameplay scene which i don't really use scenes all that much so far everything i've done in the overlay so far has been in one scene i mean the hope is though that um, though it, it feels it feels like an underwhelming thing um, because we've been working on it for so long we're hoping that the rest of the process will go smoother I don't know if that's the naive hope Yes. that like now that we have this we can just build on top of it and it'll all go great and smooth it probably won't but nevertheless huge achievement many much dopamine was released. So yeah, it's been so cool to see Doug just cracking through it the past couple of days. Oh, it's been, it's been good. It's basically just mm -hmm. finding tutorials that do small parts of it and then smashing it together. Martina says there will be no technical difficulties. Thank you, Martina. You've blessed us. We will now have no technical difficulties whatsoever. Mm. 
Okay, I finished my tea. Let's see what we can do with the swift. <laughs> Hopefully it will all go smoothly from now. You can tell India isn't a full-time programmer yeah. yet. No, absolutely. The only thing I do is every now and then Doug will be like... <laughs> He'll come into the room and be like... Ha, da, da, ha, da, da. And he'll do like a little strut across the room. I'm not joking. he do a little strut across the I've, room. I and started like doing, shake his booty around. I've started doing the thing from the Mona when she's like, I'm, I'm going to break stuff. And then when she's exiting... The scene, the like that. I do that now. Yeah, he does that, and I'm like, oh, okay. You've got something you want to show me that you've coded that you're happy with, and then I follow him through and I get to test it out with him. But that's pretty much my contribution: is that, and then the occasional you can do it, Doig. Yeah. Uh. Okay. I can do this, this, and then this. Okay, cool. So under the hood. That movie is very good. If you guys have seen Nimona, awesome. If you've not seen Nimona yet, it's very good. Oh my gosh, you guys should see Nimona if you haven't seen Nimona yet. It's so good. So you can tell you what's today's desk meat. I don't think he has any today. He had bacon the other day, but I think it's gone. Oh, it's coronation chicken. <laughs> He's presenting it to me. It's coronation chicken. Oh it's my gosh, e Doug, you though. have so much on your desk. Yeah, I'm <laughs> You're surrounded this is what, by This is stuff. what happens when I go into dev mode. I have one empty water bottle, a bottle of tango, another bottle of tango. So two bottles of tango. Four cans, four cans of, of tango. tango. <laughs> and a raspberry yogurt. Yeah. Coronation no. chicken. Yeah. Chocolate orange. Yeah pizza box underneath your desk with two more cans of tango oh yeah whoops and then i still laugh that dog says he's tidier than i cat am treats i'm looking here at my desk where i have a bottle of water and an iced coffee ready for me to drink <gasps> and that's it because <gasps> i clean my desk every day <laughs> you clean your desk by Carrying it through. Never mind. We're not yeah. having this <laughs> conversation. That's, what, that's how you clean it. You move the things off it and put them somewhere else. You put, the, you put your I'm not plate. taking notes. <laughs> you put your plates <laughs> next to the sink and just leave them. <laughs> and then Doig washes them. <laughs> I do want to say the last couple of days, Doig's just like fucking washed shit up. It's been amazing. Right. Doig's been fucking on it, man. He did the washing like twice, twice in a row. Listen, we're two artists prompted. that live together. This is like magic to us. And he, and he got multiplayer working. <laughs> He's just the fucking best. I did two things. Yeah. I mean, they were big <laughs> things though. You deserve to have pizza under your desk. Listen. It's your and nest. I gave it's you some, fairness. I gave you some of my pasta. You did give me some there of your pasta. There was this really funny moment <laughs> yesterday. Um, I'd went through... I put pasta on the on the hob while I'm waiting for the pasta to cook. I'm doing the dishes and I've just kind of finished doing the dishes <laughs> and India stumbles <laughs> India stum stumble. stumbles into the kitchen and she slowly like looks at the bo <laughs> the, the boiling pasta on the hob with this look of like oh and then she's like, she looks in the fridge. <laughs> and then she looks in the cupboard next to the fridge. And closes it slowly. And then just looks back at the pasta. <laughs> and like, oh. <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> there was nothing to eat. I didn't have anything. <laughs> so he gave me some of his pasta. It was really nice of him. Shnu, Shnu did you wow. a money hole. Oh, thank you, Shnu. Oh, 
gosh, no, thank you so much. Good luck, Money Hole. There will be no technical difficulties. Oh, Shnu, thank you. I believe you, Shnu. I believe in your good luck, Money Hole. May good fortune follow you all of this day. And us. Thank you very much. Okay, so I thought I might tidy up the UI a little bit. Okay. Um, make it nice. Makes sense. Also, probably put uh, this character select stuff into its own scene. Yeah. So maybe what I'll do is... The past was very seductive. It was okay. It was nice to have though. I was having salad, so it was nice to have something that wasn't just leaves. Are we dating? We are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Who asks, are you dating? <laughs> okay, I'm new here. Fair enough. Yeah. No, we're not. We're completely platonic and she ate my pasta okay, and we're okay. enemies forever. Oh yeah, the tail end of that story is I put pasta in my bowl. And I had a little bit left. Um, and I was like, do you want some? You donated it to me. And so you put it in your salad. Happy ending. <laughs> For me, that is. Did you like that pasta? It was okay. It wasn't that great, huh? It's all right. Yeah. I feel like the spinach and ricotta one is better. Yeah. I'll I'll get, spinach and ricotta is so good. I'll get that next combo. time. This one was like cheese and charizo tortellini. It wasn't that good. It also had a weird aftertaste. And I can't tell where that came from, whether it's just the pasta itself. I didn't notice that. I thought it was okay. You, you got the aftertaste as well. Damn it. All right, so we're in character select scene now. So I can probably delete out a bunch of stuff from here. Uh, to make this cleaner. Okay, so we don't need the dog head test. We don't need a lantern. We don't need the brig proxy. Are these lanterns? We can keep the global volume. What I want to be able to do, rather than having like this kind of lobby system, as I the next thing I want to do is to have people be able to join an already running scene from a character select screen. So I think that's my next. So what I'm thinking is someone boots it up and they're like, cool, I'm going to pick my character and then I'm going to join the game slash stream. Oh, that would be really cool. Yeah. Um, drop in, drop out. Yeah. None of that animal crossing bullshit where you have to go to the <laughs> airport. <laughs> Wait for 20 minutes to play with your friends. And then if one of them disconnects, everyone disconnects. What a shit system. For you might have some Miyazaki news. Ooh. How do you live IMAX release? That's awesome. Oh, I'm back. Let me have a look. Oops, I suddenly clicked on Space Pirate Ephemera's name. Oh, it's gonna get a simultaneous IMAX release. Ooh, little is known about it after Ghibli decided to do almost no marketing, instead asking fans to experience it with no preconceptions. That's cool. 
it's releasing simultaneously in IMAX, does that mean it's going to be out on Friday for us too? Because we have a really nice IMAX cinema. Friday, really? Yeah, that we can go to. Wow. I mean, how do you even find what film it is? <laughs> I want to see the Miyazaki one. Does it have a name? Oh, it, yeah. It's called How I, How How You Live Now? How I Live Now? How I Live Now. How Do You Live? Sorry. <laughs> how Do You Live? Oh. Oh, it seems like it doesn't have a global release yet. If it doesn't have a global release, then what did you mean about it? Opening everywhere. Oh, release simultaneously in IMAX is in. Oh, it's releasing, but also in IMAX. But not simultaneously into all IMAXs, only into Japanese IMAXs. Right. So we'll have to wait a little longer. So it, so, so it's Japanese audiences are going to get to experience it without preconceptions. preconceptions and the rest of the is world gonna, is going to look at is going to see it on views. Twitter. Yeah. Fucking. We'll just have to try and steer clear of it. So that we can also experience it as Miyazaki intended. I like experiencing films the way that filmmakers want you to. I like to try and get as close to that experience as possible. Um, IMAX, I think, is like a large curved screen. Um, and it's larger than a usual screen. I think sound is a little bit different. And the seating is usually, although we've been going to cinema and the recliner option in a lot of the screening rooms is a fucking amazing. So good. <laughs> I love reclining in the cinema. Yeah, me too. Like, you want to watch this film by lying down? Yes. It's, and this is no joke, the only cinema I've ever been properly comfy in. Yeah. The prop the only cinema where I haven't been too cold or uncomfortable the whole time. You got so much leg room, it's great. Mm -hmm. You'd fall asleep, says Kurzak. <laughs> we watched Spider Verse reclined. It was awesome. Oh man, you remember the um like Planetarium Observatory in Montreal? Imagine watching a movie on that thing. That'd be cool. How cool would that be? They get you to lie on beanbags and you like stare up and because the screen like goes down past your ears and up, it, so it's, it's one of the fucking coolest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, we all laid on beanbags and watched the universe do things and it was really, really fun. So it would like you'd be flying, it would show you as if you're like flying forward um, through like a star field, but because the field of vision of the whole screen like goes past your peripheral vision, ah, it feels like you are actually there. Yeah. You want to play <coughs> bags and watch the universe? They must have um, stuff like that in VR chat, right? That feels like it'd be a bit of a no-brainer yes. since you get kind of automatic peripheral vision in that. Yes, well, so. I know it doesn't look like my screen's changed, but it's because I'm deleting stuff out of the scene. Um, what it? What is this thing? Oh, it's this main cam ER. Okay, I don't want this anymore. Ah, blue.
because I've been following several tutorials, I now have a network manager, a game network manager, a game manager, and a server manager, and a player spawner. Oh wait, the player spawner is in a different scene now. Well, I have all of those other things, and we're gonna have to like... How do you manage all of them? You have a manager manager. <laughs> No, but I do also have a stream manager, a room manager, a player manager, which I think I'll, I'll smash the player manager together with uh, the other stuff. And a multiplayer manager that's not doing anything because <coughs> I made that first. I need an everything everywhere all at once manager. Oh look, you got green shadows now. We'll see. Are you... Are you opaquely painting them yourself? Yeah. Cool. What, what's the alternative? Doing a green, uh, like, oh, yeah, multiply no. layer. I don't want to rely on um, adjustment layers for this one. Okay. I want to make sure that everything I'm doing, I'm doing deliberately. Oops. Hey, I oh, I, I also had originally a Steam manager, but I've moved away from that now. That's become the game network manager. Okay, so they do actually look like shadows now, which is important. My screen time was down 43% last week. Oh no! Your what time? My screen time. Oh no. I just realized that my phone's been charged up for a while and I didn't, I didn't, uh, didn't go here and put my face on. There we go. Ha ha! I'm alive. Yeah. Now I can look over there and not look at any of you anymore. I kind of want to give us little, like, office, like, desks we can sit at for, for streaming sometimes. Or, like, if I have a little workshop or something, can go and you sit in. You just want to sit down, don't you? You're getting, like, second-hand fatigue looking at your little guy <laughs> standing up. He can sit down. He's fine. Where, where is the button for sitting? I'm sat there. No, I just want to have a little desk. You could, you could do that, you have the power. Ultimate power! Ultimate power! Alright, so we got a canvas. Should I keep the chat functionality? What do you mean? There's a little chat box in the bottom left, should I keep that? I don't think you need that. I don't think it's I need that either. And nice to have, but I, like, there's actually no need. To yeah. Have it. Yeah. I don't know if you want to just hide it or something. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look. We're just going to focus on getting the shadows to actually look like shadows to begin with. That's my plan. Okay, we. I don't ever use the lobby ID stuff anymore. Let's so get rid of that. That that party is the hotel lobby. 
And after the lobby, there's the after party. <laughs> Very good, India. Thank you. Oh, greetings everyone from Taiwan. Nice work. Thank you very much. Yo, thank you. Let's see. The name is very light green. Oh, it's Lois here. Hello. Welcome. Sweet rat boy. Thank you so much for the raid. Sweet rats. How are you doing? Thank you very much for bringing people over. Yeah, welcome. this feeling like a shadow doing well how's animation morning it's good thank you I'm doing this little uh, character portrait, trying to learn how to do more interesting shadows than what I would normally do. Jack Wolf says, when you design a space or scene for a character, how do you go about it? Is there an order to things? When you say a space or scene for a character, what exactly do you mean? Do you mean like on the overlay, how do we build a room? Or do you mean in a drawing, how do we think about a background? Just to make sure I'm swing the right, the right thing. Oh. For anything, say you're building a spaceship, what's the first thing you choose? So I like building things in 3D. Oh. I think the first thing is always... Well, it's not always, because Doig does it very differently to me. But for me, the first thing is always uh, concept sketches. Preliminary drawings to try and figure out where I want to put things. So I'll try and um, put in like a little scale indications of how big the characters are going to be and then I'll essentially just do a few sketches of the space try and think about functionally what we would need in that room so for example when I was building the brig I was like okay where are we going to want to put the cameras and because of that like what's the best way to see the characters and what's the best place for certain objects to make sure that we can see them from those cameras like if we want to have a jelly cat in here, where would the jelly cat go? Like how big would it be? Uh, if it was going to speak, where would the speech box go? Would that still be visible? Would that cover us up? How are you going to see us through the bars? Stuff like that. Um, so I approach it very functionally to begin with and then I'll put the design aesthetic on top of that. How about you, Doug, when you come to make an environment in 3D? You tend to just um, go for it straight off, right? You don't really draw designs first. Yeah, I, I <clears throat> grey box it out of the space um, to try and feel the scale of stuff. But like for the more recent stuff I'm doing, it's based on uh, Patrick's sketches and designs. So we like tried to figure out what the overall shape and vibe of the ship was and then kind of designated functions and purposes for those areas and Patrick's helped us um, fill those spaces but I think when it comes to environment design um, it's good to keep in mind that an environment also has storytelling to it so you're kind of showing the history of a place that its story it's like what's happened in the past there so you can think about what things would be included if the people using the space, what would they want? What would they bring in? What would they use every day? Um, and how would that affect, in fact, <coughs> affect the environment? So it's usually- an opportunity, right? When you're designing an environment. Yeah. 
I think all design is storytelling in an, in and of its own way. Yeah. I couldn't agree more. Um, I actually that was the first time I kind of learned that was at a um, a talk by Liam Wong. Uh, I think they had just I think they were still working. Uh, Crytek maybe, and they gave a talk about. Uh, it's, I think it maybe. He was going to talk with someone else, but during a talk, then <laughs> it's what, what my brain is telling me as uh, talking about the history of a place for environment design that stuck with me, like tell the place's story. Like before you got there, what ha what's happened? Yeah. And also the story of the characters who occupy that space. Yeah. So usually a space is designed around a function and then how that space has been used. So let's say, okay, you've got a, uh, a study in an office room of someone. If the character who occupies the office is untidy, then you can um, misplace things around the office or like maybe there's scattered paper on the floor, like easy to go to um, ideas like that. But then, okay, it what if the... really knowing your character, though, as well. What if the character um, always takes a certain path? Okay, so the wear and tear in the carpet or something, um, you might be able to see scuff marks, uh, or, one, or one area is faded, or, like... Um, oh, the office windows are, are like, south-facing or something, so the carpet near the windows has been bleached a little bit. Stuff like that. Like, know where the yeah, environment is and I would be affected. I, so I don't know. A lot of, like, logic and also a little knowing the characters. Yeah. Like, you have to know your characters really well to know how they're going to use a space. You know, whether they're going to leave notes for themselves on sticky notes, where they take their shoes off, if they take them off at all. You know, what's going to be strewn around. If they have pets, where do they play with the pets? I think that was something that you did for the Girl in the Glim characters was you drew their bedrooms as a way to figure out who they were as characters. You're like, it was um, almost um, back and forth process of like, what what's the character like? Okay, I'll try and use an environment as an extension for their character design. Yeah. Which I think is really cool. It was a lot of fun as well. <laughs> Pro tip, if the person who uses the office is untidy, leave a pack of desk cam on their desk to re help really sell it. Yeah. It's easy to get stuck on that kind of stuff, though. Because um, you don't think about it usually. It's just a kind of subconscious thing. But if you are doing an environment like that and you want an easier way to think through it, the best thing to do is just to imagine yourself in that environment and go through the actions that you think the character would. So, you know, your room might not have exactly the same layout, but if you have a desk, um, sit at it as your character and figure out, like, what you think the character would do at that desk. Because it's easy to forget a lot of things if you're just looking at it from the outside in as a designer, being like, what do I draw here? But if you're acting as the character and you end up splayed out in a certain way across the desk or, like in the chair or you leave your coat on take your coat off like put your stuff on a coaster don't put your stuff on a coaster then it, it kind of helps break through that barrier a little bit i think it's kind of like getting reference for animation except you're doing it for design mm -hmm. But yeah, so I guess like shorthand would be like who occupies the space, what's it used for? And then design around those personalities and those functions. Jack Wolf says, is there a cleared space in the desk for your character to bang their head? <laughs> Yeah, Jack Wolf is also saying that they think about the path that your character would take through the environment. Which honestly is not one that I've thought about a lot. But that's cool. Oh, wow! 
Two more months and we'll hit two years, says Fanak. Thank you so much for the subscription. 22 months. Thank you so much. Almost two years. I think that's what people mean when they say that you're setting in your environment as a character too. Yeah. How do I now make this shadow a little bit more realistic so that it's actually like following some kind of contour across the head? There we go. I wonder why I can't affect the uh, the rect here. I guess it's. being controlled here, right? I, think. I wonder why I like the shading on the arm so much, but the shading on like the head just doesn't feel like it's working. You like the shading on the where? On the hand. Okay. But I don't like the shading on the head. Hmm. It's a little bit more saturated on the hand. Maybe we should just copy it. Straight, it's just, it feels like if I do that, it doesn't look like a shadow anymore. Because it's clashing with the blue hair streaks, maybe. Oh, hey, Arcee. Oh, that's my face tracking just died. That's okay, though. I truly hate <laughs> Unity's UI oh, yeah? kind of method of setting stuff up. practicing uh, music yesterday I've still been unable to find out where they practice though I think I saw them coming out the gate yesterday they look fairly youngish like teens early 20s cool out of the gate on the building opposite us yeah so that is where they practice Guys, I found out about a cool thing in Unity, by the way. Um, at the very top right in the inspector, there's a little padlock. You know when you're trying to drag stuff into the inspector like panels and you want you want to select a bunch of them um, to drag into like a list or something, but if you click on the thing you want to drag and then want to select multiple, it, it navigates away from the list so you can't drag it in. If you hit the padlock on the top right, you can lock the view and the inspector to what you're looking at and then you can navigate elsewhere and it won't it won't move which 
I wish I knew 10 years ago. I don't know if it's been there for 10 years, but it certainly would have been useful 10 years ago as well. Did that make sense? Um, well, I don't understand it, but I'm sure some people who use Unity will. So when you click on a game object in your hierarchy, um, in the inspector, it will show you all the components that are attached to your game object. And that includes your scripts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But that changes depending on the context of what you have highlighted in your project hierarchy or your, your scene hierarchy. And uh, if say, for instance, I have a list of player cards here and I want to drag the whole list over. If I click on a player card, it will change the thing. It will change the items that are in the inspector. Um, and then I can like highlight what I want and drag it over and it will the the place I'm dragging it over to stays there. Pilkey says, always fun when you learn something super basic about the tool you've been using for years and then you have the flashback to many years of pain. So true. Yeah, so yesterday I had to like drag them all one at a time over because uh, I didn't know about that. But it was in the tutorial. I just... if And now you know forever. Which I didn't hear the first time I watched the tutorial, but because my code didn't work, I had to rewatch my tutorial at two times the speed um, to try and find out what I'd done wrong. And that while I was vigilantly watching what they were doing, it was like, hey, and if you hit the padlock here, then you can drag these over here. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Is it weird that you can only concentrate on a tutorial at two times the speed? I mean, it depends on the delivery of the tutorial. The one I was following is kind of breakneck. I had to keep pausing it. It was sort of like, oh, and so if we do this and we type this here, then this will put this. And I'm like typing what they're saying. And I'm like two lines behind. It was a great tutorial. The part that really fucked me off was the fact that they had this weird IntelliSense box that comes up. I don't know what, if it's when they're highlighting a word or whatever they were using, but it basically obscured like 20%, 30% of what the, of the screen they were showing. I was like, that's super great that you have that, but I can't see what you've just typed and I'm trying to follow along. So if I hit pause now, I can't see what you've just typed. I have to go back, pause. You think that they would no, that would be a problem and turn it off. Yeah. I guess they couldn't bother to re-record when they realized that it was a problem. Which yeah. I empathize with, but also if you're literally showing someone how to do something, it's probably worth the effort to re-record just to make sure there isn't a big box in front of what you're trying to teach them. Yeah. Bum 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 Cool. I'm doing something really like <laughs> not super interesting, so I'm glad you got something art going on there. Okay, so I think I'm going to have player list over here and chat. Chat window. Uh, 
Maybe I'll... Party Ed says, down the both in that big focus mode. Sorry, I was trying to wrap my head around stuff that I didn't understand. <laughs> Thank you, Hinka. Okay. Oh, hey, Eula, thanks. I'm trying to figure out shading. <laughs> it's hard. Fuck. Like, the... The little bit of hair at the front, the uh, the bit of shadow I put over it, doesn't doesn't look like. I want it to look like the blue has shadow on it too, but the dividing bit between the shadow on the brown and the shadow on the blue isn't working for me right now, which is annoying because it's color dropped from the one on the side of my cheek, which does the same thing and I think works okay. So I'm like, why doesn't that one work? But anyway, check values. The shadows on the face and hand are like way too light, but I really like the way it works on the hand. So I've just copied it on the face. The value on the shadow is exactly the same as the value on the face. I don't know why it seems to work on the hand, but it do. Or at least I like the way it works on the hand. Party says where well, you can gradient the shadow on the left it can be a brighter green on the right a little more dark blue toned I think because the tip of the hand is lighter oh maybe yeah maybe you're right me select this and then we'll just do like a gradient over the top of it this for now oh oh that's new i like that photoshop do i have to like press enter or something for it to apply oh no i don't okay oh i can just change it here all right that's actually that's pretty it's pretty great i'll give that to you that's pretty great I was going to make this more blue.
Pro Shop gets a W for the first time in like eight years. <laughs> Swift do be cooking. Do be cooking. I do have to leave. You have to leave? Have to run. Okay, that's fair. As I do every morning. with this for now and tweak it a little bit just apply it and then deal with the consequences later like I probably made it too dark but it's something I can maybe work with Please tell me the shadows on separate layer. Farty arty. What do you think I am? Of course they're not. <laughs> separate layers. <laughs> no, I I've kept it all on the same layer because I I want to um <laughs> I want to force myself to live with my mistakes um and actually have to like I don't want to use uh layer adjustments. I kind of want to have to actually paint it. So that's why. That's why. That's how it go. That's how it go. That's how we go. Do, do, do. Thing. Ah, ah, delete this one. I like it when some of the brown starts to bleed back in. That feels nice. Maybe I need the shadow to not be so hard. Maybe the hard shadow is part of what's tripping me up. Maybe it's because the shadows are not a realistic place at all and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> that's part of the problem. It's shadow placement as well as just the render of it. I mean, the stuff on the shirt looks pretty good. I think... Yeah. The stuff... I think you need to go darker on your feathers for the for the for to read the shadow. If I go dark on my feathers, I'm gonna lose that uh, nice pop I've got on the hands that I like. I don't. Okay. What what pop? Between the green and the orange there, I really like it. Just okay. Here. Okay. That's like the one part of the image I like. I don't wanna. Maybe you could like up the the brightness and saturation on the on your shirt then, because I don't feel like those two are matching. Those two what? The shadow on your shirt and the the. Mm. Okay, let me just set the whole shirt, and we'll play with it. As a person who's tried to grayscale painting and I did it all in one layer, I've learned to paint shadows on a separate layer. Yeah. I I know that you want to live with your mistakes, Swifty, but putting shadows on its own layer is not a mistake. I never said it was. 
but I said that putting shadows on the same layer also wasn't a mistake. <laughs> I'm doing it deliberately to teach myself. Okay. Uh, because I desire to paint. Okay. And have to work into and out of the colors rather than be able to easily undo and erase them. It's just okay. a choice I'm making. That's fair. That I think is... it's very smart to do things on different layers. I just that don't is... want to do it for this piece. That's fair. You're you're valid. There is stuff I deliberately want to learn through the process. You're you're valid. I know. You have to go though. I think I everyone's farting to, to like get I you to go. A, I have just selected it so we can do a little shifty if you want to. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> farting to make you go away. <laughs> Leave. <coughs> yeah, like what did you want? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, I would maybe do a levels. Maybe do a levels? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> what do you want me to do with the levels? I'm bringing your darks up. That? No. No? Okay. The, bo the bottom the bottom, one. Yeah, bring this that one. up. Yeah. That will reduce the darks. Yeah. Okay. I don't like it. Never mind. <laughs> I don't like it. You will be Mrs. Swifty. <coughs> Ew. It's so nasty. Look, we made the screen a little bit nicer. Just a little. Yellow boost! Yeah, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what you wanted. I've broken something now. Where is um color balance? Where is that? I've forgotten where it is. Color balance. C control B. Control B. Control B. Oh! Cool. So I want more yellow in the highlights. I right. want more yellow in the highlights. More yellow in the highlights. The highlights. <laughs> <coughs> I think the white on your shoulder makes it look like you're wearing metallic. I like it. <laughs> but it's fabric though. Unfortunately for you, I like that part. So I'm not going to change it. More yellow in the highlights. You're making yourself look like a... Oh, wait, I get it now. What? I was going to say, you're making... <coughs> you're making it... <coughs> Fuck. Take some cough medicine, you weirdo. It looks like card art from the Pokemon cards from the 90s. Oh no, my influence. <laughs> I better fix that. You look like Pikachu. Is that Pikachu? Honestly got a Pikachu thing. And honestly, the thing looks like it has a five o'clock shadow <laughs> on its face. It's like Is bleached it like out around the mouth. Though, right? Yeah. Do I prefer it? Oh, the blue is nicer. It looks less like shadow now, though. Neither of them look 100% like shadow, but the blue is nicer. Fine. All hail shadow. Can you open this cough medicine for me? Yeah, hand it over here. Come on. It's child proof. That's the problem. I just got... I just got bear paws. I don't know. I might have broken it trying to get in. There's a missed chromail. Ah. Uh, 
I was speaking to a friend last night there and the go. idea hit for a 3D character workshop for upcoming Twitch streams, create a sonic chow together. I'd go through the process of modeling with effective topology for animation plus simplified for sprite based animation and proc texturing traditional. Mike, here you go. Careful, it's open. So don't tip it or anything. It's open. Could you imagine if I just shook the fuck out of this thing? <laughs> and it's don't not open. That. It's open now. Yes, it is open. What are you talking about? I did it for you. <laughs> no reaction. India passed me the cough medicine the exact moment that I stopped reading the thing. That sounds really cool, Shnu. That does sound super awesome. Sorry, I distracted him. <laughs> oh, it's working. <laughs> I hate that shit. I hate that cough medicine so damn much. I've had it like five times. In the last five weeks, what is happening? <laughs> Drake's taking his medicine. It's honey and. But it's meant to like honey. Honey and lemon. I meant to like this. I picked it because it sounded good. It's not. I don't like the meds. Yeah, look at these little blue shadows. They're so good. Look at you. Shadow. It does. Why? Why is it got the white face? Pam. Pam put the white face on the Pikachu. <laughs> don't call it that, dog. <laughs> it's not what it is. It's so the little capture Pikachus have um have like a white blur around their muzzles. I guess so. I don't know what it is. Wait, did Fen do something? It seems like Fen did something. Oh, you got the controller assignments working. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Did 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 the thing I sent you help? Did it work? Wow! Good job, Fen. Or did you have to code your own way? That's awesome. Yee! You have to perform if checks on each player action, but yes, it helped. Yee! Cool. <laughs> All right, I have to. I have to leave. I bust away a break of day to find my long forgotten work. <laughs> For over the misty deadlines cold. Through weekends deep and weekdays old, I must away. You ready? Far over. <laughs> Doig, you're doing it again. <laughs> as soon as I say, okay, let's go. You're like, no, let me start a bit that's going to last five minutes. You started it. You were like <laughs> Misty <laughs> Mountaining over I mean, there. That's totally fair, actually. Oh. Have you guys ever played Oxen Free? No, I've never played Oxen Free. I've been interested to play Oxen Free, though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna go and raid. Who we I raid? must away to break Martina, some bread. You starting the raid is such a lifesaver. Thank you so much for starting it. <laughs> no. Okay, guys, we're gonna ah, go ah, And until next ah, time, ah, may the rest ah, of your day venture. be filled ah. with adventure. <laughs> Venture. Take Have you care, everybody. Heard the sound Goodbye. Of two Skyrim's clipping. <laughs> Stop streaming.